I'm seeing things that I'm looking familiar. Ha! The Boxcar Children. The Boxcar, located in Putnam, Connecticut. Part of the New England state, but... I can see that, uh... I really love the Boxcar Children. It's so awesome, and it's so divine. And hey, it's all part of the Roadside America thing. I can see its lovely picture. This is what I'm going to be reviewing next. So, I guess I'm going to be heading to the boxcar now. I'll be seeing you later. Welcome to a beautiful place where it has the boxcar right behind me. I, Agent Mike, from Agent Mike's Movie TV Show Reviewer, would like to give you a exciting movie review based from the popular children's books of all time. Chapter books, that is. Everybody's favorite, and it's about four kids or siblings before we thought they were orphans but now they live with their kind grandfather and the one I'm going to be reviewing is the boxcar children now it may seem that this movie is based from one of the boxcar children's books and it is so popular that I love those four siblings with a watchdog. And for those of you who are in the Boxcar Children series, can find this movie is totally awesome. So without any further ado, let's review the Boxcar Children. It all started where the four siblings, Henry, Jesse, Violet, and Benny, run away from their cruel grandfather as they arrive at the bakery, trying to buy things to keep them fed. Even Benny bought a cupcake. They asked the baker if they decided to stay for the night because they ran away from their cruel grandfather. She agrees for a night. Of course, they stayed in the bakery for a night when it rains. Where can these four siblings, Henry, Jesse, Violet, and Benny, find a place to live on their own? Although when the siblings overheard what the baker say, they're going to work at the bakery and Benny's going to be dumped at the orphanage. So they decided to leave the bakery and finding a place to live. As they are walking down the road, they found some hay, which is a great place 
to stay for the night. The animation quality to this film is so awesome and richness in CGI. This is to what Hammerhead and Castaway could do. The hay is a great place to spend for the night for them to sleep. <laughs> of course, when they got out, <laughs> they cough up some hay. <laughs> they kept walking down the road until they find the service station where they found the well so that they can drink of water so that they can be on their way to find a place to live on their own. But when the bakers arrive, they started chasing them through the forest and over the log until the bakers gave up on finding those siblings and they drove off. And when the coast is clear, the four siblings run through the forest and they found the boxcar. Isn't it wonderful? This is where the piece of a railroad train came apart in legend. Just like it is based from the popular children's books of all time of the same name. They found the boxcar and they decided to spend the night there. All right! They found the boxcar, which hasn't been used in years. Of course, years ago, the boxcar broke off from the train and took a different path on a different tracks that leads to a dead end. This is how the boxcar ends up, like from the beginning of this film. After the siblings spent the night at the boxcar, the next morning when they woke up, they see a different point of view of a forest and grasslands outside the boxcar. They decided to make the boxcar their permanent home because it is much safer from the dangers of the outskirts. As Henry goes to the service station to buy some more food, Jesse, Violet, and Benny searches the forest until they found a dog that has a thorn stuck to his paw. So they help the dog remove the thorn from his paw and they named him Watch because he was a watchdog. Oh, I love Watch the Watchdog. That is part of the boxcar children, as the siblings adores him later in the film. Ah, uh, the watchdog named Watch. He's a great watchdog and a good loyal pet to Henry, Jesse, Violet, and Benny. When Henry returned to the boxcar with a bunch of food, they set up a picnic outside the boxcar and they enjoy delicious goodies such as a blueberry cheese sandwich now that's a healthy nutritious meal they loved it and so is watch oh i wish i could make the blueberry cheese sandwich to make me healthier as well just like in this film i love it Oh, I like the way they invented a blueberry cheese sandwich. It is good for you and healthy too. Henry decides to look for work at Silver City. Jesse and Benny puts the milks on the creek just like a refrigerator. Jesse, Violet, and Benny takes a walk on the bridge as Henry looks for work at Silver City. They found the abandoned vehicle to look for some treasures and possessions. Even Benny found his favorite pink cup. As Jesse and Violet found some silverware and dinette set. They cleaned it off from the creek and places in the boxcar as a collection. 
for them to enjoy viewing what they have found in the abandoned car down the bridge. When Henry returned, he works for a person named Dr. Moore, whom they offered him a job to help do the chores around his house. After all, Henry did such a good job working with him as they enjoy baked potatoes on a picnic. Other cool things about the boxcar children? Remember back in the previous episode where I talked about in the boxcar children how to lend a helping hand and working for someone to earn good pay? Well, here's how I explained it well. Henry is working for Dr. Moore as he lends him a helping hand to help around the house from mowing to sweeping to washing a car just like doing chores at home I really like this exciting part in the film this is totally awesome as children and adults do it the same in reality as they tell stories of how Henry does his job and the siblings finding things outside the boxcar as they start saving up and even Henry helps Dr. Moore pick vegetables such as carrots and they make delicious carrot stew which is also the coolest thing in this film as Jesse teaches Ben some new tricks in writing, and Violet keeps a watch, searching the forest and some exciting things as she looks out for, and she even sees Henry coming back from work. Even Violet makes a teddy bear for Benny. That is so touching. Another one of the coolest things in this film is cleaning out the garage, which is quite a chore. Dr. Moore thanks Henry for cleaning it out and offers him the hammer so that Henry can do something with it. Dr. Moore has asked Henry to invite his siblings to pick some apples from his apple orchard for the upcoming field day event, which Henry happily accepts. So that Henry got his hammer, he builds a wagon for Benny, and they make a swimming pool next to the boxcar. <laughs> of course, they turn the creek into a fabulous pool so that they can enjoy jumping in the pool for some fun. <laughs> Even little Benny had a great time. After that, Henry talks to Jesse, Violet, and Benny about going to Dr. Moore to pick out apples from a tree so that they can all enjoy fabulous time as Henry teaches them how to stay together. This is also the greatest part in this film. The next day, Henry greets Dr. Moore, his siblings, Jesse, Violet, and Benny, as they decided to help him pick apples from an apple tree. Also, the favorite part in this film is teamwork. The siblings of the boxcar children likes to perform teamwork by helping them picking apples for Dr. Moore for the upcoming field day at Silver City. They did, and they're having such a good time collecting the apples from the apple trees and sorting them out. As Dr. Moore looked at the newspaper, he looks at the lost notice posted by James Henry Alden about two boys and two girls. They were missing ever since. Dr. Moore decided to keep silent until the right moment and they told the boxcar children to come for the field day the next day, in which they happily agreed to go with him 
to have some fun and to celebrate in style. At Silver City Field Day, Henry participates in a marathon competing against the other boys. They ran around the Silver City area. Even Henry forges to do it and he eventually crossed the finish line and won first place which his siblings were so proud of what he's doing. The judge shows up and gives him the trophy. Of course, Henry told the judge, Henry James, and as we can see, the judge is definitely a someone to the siblings. Oh, I like the way Henry raced with the opponent in field day. When they arrive back at the boxcar, Violet isn't feeling well. So that Jesse comforts Violet and Henry goes to Dr. Moore for help with Violet. Oh, she caught a fever. Oh, Violet is so sick. As Dr. Moore takes Violet and the siblings to his house, Dr. Moore puts Violet in bed to rest, and Dr. Moore contacts James Henry Alden. You want to know what he looks like? Let's find out. Benny answers a door, and it turned out to be the judge of Silver City Field Day, who acts as a friendly type to Henry, Jesse, Violet, and Benny. Benny lets the judge in and likes to have fun with them. And they figured the siblings decided to have fun with the judge as well, in a friendly way. And they have dinner with him, except Violet, who is still sick in bed. They had a great time with the judge, and they love him. Of course, the man who's the judge is a good friend to the four siblings. Yes, indeed. Even though the judge gives Henry his pocket knife, as Henry looks at the knife that say J-H-A, which stands for James Henry Alden. After Henry talks with the judge, the judge turns out to be Henry, Jesse, Violet, and Benny's grandfather as they reconcile with him. Turns out to be their grandfather was a kind man and not a harmful type after all. They even gave him a second chance in life as they all reconcile with him. The Boxcar Children is one of the successful franchises in children's literature. There's lots of Boxcar Children books available for every format and numbered volume, including Solving Mysteries. There is also a Boxcar Children Museum located in Putnam, Connecticut, where all the children and grown-ups alike come see the Boxcar, which is based off of the books by an author named Gertrude Chandler Warner. She is the author of the Boxcar Children. There is also a theatrical stage show, which vary from theaters across the country. And of course, it is different because the movie was deemed to be successful. And now meet the voice cast of the Boxcar Children movie. Meet Zachary Gordon as the voice of Henry. Of course, Zachary Gordon also played as Greg Hefley from Diary of the Wimpy Kid. Henry is the oldest of the siblings to the Boxcar Children. 
He likes to do work, and he is a great runner. Meet Joey King as the voice of Jesse, who is the second child of the Alden siblings. She loves nature, and she loves to see the world around her, and she even likes her dog named Watch as well. Meet Mackenzie Foy as the voice of Violet. She is the third child of the Alden siblings, who loves adventure and sometimes she's in a passion for everything she loves. Meet Jaden Sand as the voice of Ben, the youngest of the siblings. He loves to play and he loves to see the world and he loves his teddy bear and he loves to swim and he loves his pink cup that he found in the junkyard. Isn't it awesome? Meet Martin Sheen as the voice of Grandfather Alden. A kind loving grandfather which the four siblings warm up to him and realizes that they knew who they are. And of course, they really love the way he acted well, but not so cruelty. And it turns out a great relationship of reuniting their grandfather. And finally, meet J.K. Simmons as the voice of Dr. Moore. He is the voice of a father dog from Rock Dog. And of course, Dr. Moore is a great friend to Grandfather Alden and the Boxcar Children. Henry first met Dr. Moore and Henry works for him, restoring the house that what Dr. Moore couldn't do as previously mentioned. After all, it is a great friendship with the Boxcar Children. And there is also a sequel which is coming is the Boxcar Children Surprise Island, the second in the book series, and it is a sequel to the first film. The Boxcar Children is one of the best franchises that everyone is gonna love. Now we figured it out. James Henry Alden, the guy who is the judge, is actually their grandfather. He is so kind to them now, in which Henry, Jesse, Violet, and Benny gives him a second chance in his life. They showed their grandfather of their boxcar that they lived in, and they show them the items they have found, and they shared a wonderful picnic together. After Violet was well, and Violet loves the great outdoors and the boxcar. She even likes doing a cartwheel and seeing things upside down. So the next day, they're on their way to their grandfather's house. They view the photo of their father and they go to their rooms as they love their rooms in different themes of beautiful settings, including Benny's favorite miniature train and Henry's room of exploring and the globe on the desk. They love their rooms until one day Watch found the teddy bear that Benny really loves and Violet Jesse and Henry cares about each other as Grandfather Alden and Dr. Moore calls them to take a look at the backyard of the house that the boxcar was back. And they figured it out. They like the boxcar so much that they never want to lose it and they loved it. The Boxcar Children is a terrific movie and it is definitely worth a buy on DVD. So if you are a fan of the Boxcar Children books, you should definitely watch this movie. It's awesome. It's so awesome. Never 
to happen like this again as the siblings and the watchdog finally found their family and living in a great place along with the boxcar so that they can play anytime as they live happily with their grandfather. So in my final thoughts for this movie, The Boxcar Children, the animation is so awesome to what Castaway and Hammerhead could do. It is so beautifully drawn and computer animated. The characters were so colorful and I like how this movie teaches the children something. Lend a helping hand and to love and to get together and to be kind with each other. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this animated film a 9! This movie is definitely a must-see and a must-buy on DVD and download. Thank you all for watching this movie. Remember, I am always at your side. So any questions, comments, or requests, send me an email at agentmikemtr at gmail.com. You can also leave a comment or request or view my videos at become a fan at facebook.com slash dragonagentproductions. You can even view my videos and leave a comment or request or question at youtube.com slash dragonagentprod1. You can leave a question or request on my blog at agentmikehub1.tumblr.com. So, this is Agent Mike, and I'll be seeing you in the movies and TV shows, and enjoy visiting the boxcar. Goodbye, everybody!